in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed a very classical rendition of this was given to us in Hebrews chapter 11. We're going to read it further when we read verse 6. The Bible tells us, just give us verse 6, but we'll later on start verse 1. Hebrews 11 chapter and verse 6, please help us. I like you to read it. It's projected one to read. But without faith, uh-huh. Stop. That's what I want you to see. It was buttressing on Hebrews 10.38 that if any man draws back, my soul will not have pleasure in him. So it says, but without faith, that means outside of faith, it is impossible to please God. Hallelujah. So we see that the entire life of a believer revolves around faith. Now, many of us have had this teaching faith. We've had pastors. Some of us have taught it ourselves. But I think it's very important for us to settle down and really understand what faith is and how it works. We call all kinds of people men of faith. This person is a man of faith. What exactly is faith and how does it work? Seeing that the quality of our lives on earth is dependent on our understanding now listen please not our application of faith alone but our understanding of the same you can apply something wrongly dissipate so much energy but it does not mean you are producing results how many of you have seen cars that the exhaust has busted and i mean you hear the car coming so loud like a truck you think it's a truck running without brakes and then you see a little bike or a little car that's how many people's destinies are. There's a lot of noise. And then when you look, you find out that there's absolutely nothing. But there are cars that would even come and park you, not even know. That's cars that came intentionally. I'm on my way to paradise. I'm on my way to paradise. I'm on my way to paradise. Prophesy to yourself. Yes, I'm on my way to paradise. No matter what I see around me now, I'm on my way to paradise. I'm on my way. On my way. Hallelujah. So why faith? Hebrews chapter 11. It will be a long reading. It's an archive of men and women who demonstrated unto us the reality of faith. Let's read it. Please pay attention. We're studying the word of God tonight. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. Verse 2. It says, For by it, the elders obtain what? A good report. Next verse. Through faith, we understand that the walls were framed by the word of God. Now watch this. The Bible starts we see certain formations happening. The Bible gives us a character of faith. 
Then we see certain people mentioned called elders. Are we together? Then we see a formation that faith is able to form realities. And then we see the word of God coming into the picture. Now, I want you to study how these realities begin to piece themselves. Faith, substance, evidence, report or results. Are we together? Understanding. The word of God. You see these things piecing up together. Then the Bible says, so that the things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. Verse 4. Let's see how far we can go. Now, the first character in the Bible. The Bible calls them elders. Interestingly, the first elder in the Bible is called who? Not Adam. Not Cain. This is, this is a teaching on its own. I'm telling you, I like enjoying myself when I talk about these things. Believe you me, I plan to do the same this night. By faith, Abel did what? Offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice by faith than Cain, by which he obtained witness that he was righteous. God testifying of his gifts and by it, he being dead, yet speaketh. So by faith, a man offered unto God a what? More excellent sacrifice. Is it not interesting that the first thing God uses to describe faith is giving? We are going to lions, but the Bible talks of offering a more excellent sacrifice. It takes faith to be a giver. Cain gave, but he was a miser. And God said the reason why he mised was he did not have faith. Are we together? It was out of faith that Abel took sacrifice as though that was all he had and gave unto God. Meaning greed. Listen. Selfishness of all sorts is traceable to what? Lack of faith. That at any point in a man's life, he's a withholder and not a giver. I don't mean money. A giver of anything. It is because of fear of the continuity of the supply. And the Bible says it's lack of faith. Number two, five. By faith, the second elder we see in the Bible is who? Now, Enoch was the seventh man from creation, theologically speaking. Enoch was the seventh man from creation. And then from Abel, he just jumps to Enoch and says, by faith, Enoch was what? Translated. 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 Kabarato satire. By faith, a man can leave a level to another. By faith. I know this is talking of translation out of this realm, but you need to understand what this meant. Enoch translated from one territory to another by faith. Like a man can leave poverty to wealth. Like a man can leave sickness. It says if you want to experience translation, it will happen how? By faith. That he should not see death and was not found because God had translated him. For before his translation, he had a testimony. Notice how pleasing God is tied to faith. It seems like God's obsession is not just praise and worship. God's obsession is that he can find men who have faith in him. Every time you see the manifestation of faith, you see God smiling. The Bible gives you a picture that he's happy. He's well pleased. Number three. And without faith, it is what? Impossible to please him. For he that comes to God must believe. That he is. The word is there means he exists. He exists. And then that he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Hear what the Bible says. For everyone that seeketh findeth. It's important we get this foundation. Seven. Let's see how far we go. By faith. Noah comes in now. Noah. Kalabakotaya. Be warned of God of things not seen as yet. 
when God was warning Noah, there was no evidence that those things were coming. The same way God is saying you will prosper and there is no evidence. But Noah moved in advance. He didn't wait to say, let me see a cloud first. He started building the ark when the sun was shining bright and Bible calls it faith. Now, I hope you, those who did math, everybody did mathematics. Whether you like it or not. I'm not asking you whether you passed. I'm saying you did it. Are we together? Now, listen. A good teacher does not give two examples and set examples. No. When they give you, especially a difficult aspect of mathematics, they give you as many examples. And those examples have variations of the way the underlying principles are applied. Is that true? Uh huh. It's supposed to help you familiarize you with the different ways. This is what the Bible is doing. We're working maths here. Are we together? So the Bible begins to give you different people. Do you know everything the Bible is saying about them is the same? He's only using different human examples to show you different applications. How men maneuvered circumstances by faith. So by faith, Noah being warned of God of things not seen as yet moved with fear. The word fear there is reverence. Prepared an ark to the saving of his house. 100 years it took Noah to build an ark. How many years have you waited for your miracle? Let me hear it please. Six months. And you're already saying, Lord, if by November, a man moved by faith for 100 years, how long do you have to live on earth to spend 100 years building an ark? I'm sure the children, when they gave birth to their children, they said, we, we grew up seeing our grandfather. What exactly is this project? And no one said, the rain will come. And the children said, well, I'm now a teenager. I, I believe the rain will come. And God kept watching and says, it was by faith. Listen, let me tell you something. I'm going to break down faith for you to really understand. And then you will know that many people really do not believe in God. Many of you at the end of this teaching, you will tell God, I'm sorry. Because you will find out that you really should not receive a result. Amen. Next verse. By faith. Now Abraham comes in. I like the Bible. How many people now? Abel, help me. Enoch, uh huh. Noah, Abraham. It says, by faith, Abraham, when he was called out to go into a place, that means your destiny must be fulfilled by faith. God called a man. Are you seeing now? So we see by faith to do different things. Translation. Now we are seeing he's talking about destiny here. An inheritance. By faith. You are not the first person to graduate and wonder what to do with your life. There was a man in the awe of the Chaldeans. Awe of the Chaldeans called Abraham. And the Bible says when he was called to go out to a place which he should. After receive an inheritance obeyed. He says and he went out. Help me please. That's the faith part of it. Not knowing Whither he went. Go to Lagos. Yes Lord. What are you doing in Lagos? Obeying God. You are stupid. God what do you say? You are a man of faith. Abraham. Don't turn there. Genesis 22. Genesis 12. Come out of your father's house. And out of your kindred. And out of all of these. Listen. To a land that I will show you. No name. The assignment is follow me. And the Bible says Abraham gathered his house and says gentlemen we are off. Let's go. May you surround people in your life who can let you obey God. Yeah. There are times. Let me just say this in advance. There are times certain people will love you too much to allow you obey God. Especially for we young people. Because our parents, many of them, even those who were not born again, walked by faith. Are we together? The last time their father saw them was from one. They used to call it from one. The next time the person came, he came with the lady he would marry, a master's holder. How he survived, the father did not know. 
one heavy box and a blessing don't drink don't follow women be hard working the God that kept me keep you enter a boat and go and the father had confidence that the boy will not die after eight years he now came back and said daddy God is faithful I now have a house a car how did it happen by faith but now you see someone of 30 they say i think you should start settling i say hey, mommy i'll take it gently just buy me blanket buy me sugar buy me tea don't laugh we have been so pampered that the system of faith is eroding our minds so whenever we say faith many people just laugh that's the reason why there are very few people who really do much. I'm not even talking ministry in the kingdom, in our lives. This over pampering. Are we together now? Auxiliary faith. Okay, Uncle, I'll take the first step, but make sure you are standing by. Look at what he told Peter. He said, fear not, Jesus speaking, it is I. And Peter said, if it be thou, bid me come. Jesus said, come. Faith faith let's read to verse 10 by faith he sojourned in the land of promise as in a strange country dwelling in tabernacles with isaac and jacob the heirs of him with him of the same promise uh-huh for he looked for a city whose builder and maker is who the lord next verse through faith the first woman now also an elder the first woman through faith Sarah herself received what so how do men receive strength in the kingdom you don't receive strength in the kingdom just by eating a good meal although that is important she received strength and conceived seed and was delivered of a child when she was past age because she judged him faithful now notice that among all these people the common denominator is that they did or said something are we together there was nobody whose testimony was just passive the bible tells us something they did something they said something they did something they said let me say this up front faith is not hearing what god has said faith is fulfilling your own path your own path Let's go to verse 17. I want to jump. Verse 17. Are we together? By faith, Abraham now, when he was tested, did what? Or tried. Offered up Isaac. And he that had received the promises offered up his only begotten son, of whom it was said, In Isaac shall thy seed be called. Sacrifice by faith. Sacrifice by faith. Now the Bible talks of Isaac, Jacob, Joseph. Let's go to 23 and look at Moses. The Bible dwells for, I don't know why, but it seems to me like Moses was the person the Bible dwelt so much in. All of the people who the Bible talked about faith, even Abraham, who we call to be the father of faith, the Bible just spoke about him. But for Moses, the Bible seemed to dwell and talk a lot about Moses, which I found interesting. Let's read on. By faith, Moses, when he was born, was did what? was he three months of his parents because they saw that he was a proper child and they were not afraid of the king's command you understand the act of faith they put him in a basket and pushed him to the nile 
trusting God to take care of him next verse then by faith Moses when he was come to years refused to be called what refused to be called by faith just like you refuse to be called um, any name that seems derogatory any name that comes from a background that can destroy you oh you are all the poor ones can anything good come out of Nazareth he said by faith seeing something he refused choosing rather think about this to suffer affliction listen there are certain kinds of afflictions that the Bible says you must go through them by faith it's a choice are you hearing what I'm saying when a lady refuses to say yes to an unbeliever and instead of marrying two years before that time now remains single because she refused to say yes to an unbeliever by faith waiting for a godly man she believes to be her husband the bible calls it to suffer affliction not every act of faith looks pleasant in the process in fact let me tell you something a major part of the journey of faith will make you look stupid because you are forfeiting we call it in economics opportunity cost you forgo something for the excellency of what is waiting for you than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for what a season 26 esteeming the reproach of Christ greater riches than the treasures in Egypt for he had respect unto the recompense of the reward and so on and so forth and um, let me look for somewhere now I mean the Bible talks about him right well let's read let's read really let's read down to um, 30 where it goes to Joshua now we're reading down to 30 you see how much a lot was talked about Moses by faith he forsook Egypt not fearing the wrath of the king for he endured as seeing him who is invisible 28 we are reading down to 30 through faith he kept the Passover and the sprinkling of blood lest he that destroyed the destroyer now the firstborn should touch them 29 this is the last of the talk about Moses by faith they passed through the Red Sea as by dry land which the Egyptians are saying to do the Egyptians tried it but they didn't do it by faith so they died are you seeing now now let's talk of the wall of Jericho verse 30 by faith the walls of Jericho did what not by strength by faith we saw them going around walking around Jericho are you understanding the character of faith already every one of these people did something whoever tells you faith happens without your commitment lied to you i'm showing you all through the common denominator to all these things is that they believed god and there was a demand on their own part to respond by saying by doing by keeping their own part so their obedience upgraded the promises of God to a covenant. The walls of Jericho fell down after they were compassed about seven days. Read 31. By faith, ah, yeah, yeah, the second woman. Look at the name the Bible calls her. Now this is interesting. Why didn't he just say by faith, Rahab? I think we are smart enough to know then he says by faith Kalabakata, a woman who was a harlot changed her story by faith the harlot Rahab perish not with them that believe not meaning she was part of them she was destined to perish please is that true what is the wages of sin help me what is the wages of sin that means there is a system in God where men can change prophecy there is a system in God where men can alter obvious consequences the key is faith if first tells you her credentials she was a harlot 
Do you know what it means to earn a right to stay on a wall? So that whoever is passing sees you before even seeing the king. By faith, she changed her report. Everyone died in Jericho except Rahab. Not only did she not die, she forced herself into the genealogy of Jesus. When she had received the spice with peace. And what more can I say? I really wonder. What more do you need to hear? You, you see, I'm understanding what Paul is saying. Paul is saying, if by now you don't see the synergy, what more can I say? He says, for time would do what? To fail me, to talk of others. There were other elders in the Bible. Let's name them. Gideon, and of Barak, and of Samson, and of Jephthah, and of David also, and Samuel, and of the prophets. There were many. Next verse. Who did what? Through faith. Subdued kingdoms. Wrought righteousness. Uh -huh. Obtained promises. Stopped the mouth of lions. Next verse. Quenched the violence of fire. Look at that. I wonder why Nigerian actors have never acted a film this powerful. Men who did this by faith. Produce a film and call it by faith. Exploits in the spirit. They escaped the edge of the sword. Men who looked at death eyeball to eyeball and said, you will not kill me. And then the Bible now says, out of weakness were made what? Men who were born weak but refused that they will not die weak. Works valiant in fight. Turn to flight the armies of the aliens. Then listen to this. Women receive their dead raised back to life. And then the Bible quickly puts a very strange balance. It says, And others were tortured, not accepting. That means they did not die out of the power of death conquering them. The Bible says they rejected deliverance willingly. They discovered in their knowledge of God that to die is gain. And they said, I can live, but let me prove to God how much I trust him. And they said, it is within my power to command deliverance, but I reject it. Faith. It didn't say they died out of weakness. Please don't confuse this. They died. They had, do you know there are many people today who died? When we get to heaven, they will tell you they were offered an opportunity to live, but they saw something higher and they said, Let's go. The Bible calls it faith. Now you mourn them and try to look for hilarious stories, but they, are, they have joined those elders. It's a list, it's a roll call. There are many people shortlisting themselves there. It says not accepting deliverance. That they may do what? Obtain a better resurrection. I'm going somewhere with all this. And you will soon see. Next verse. And others had trial of cruel mockings and scourgings. You are not the first to be laughed at. Are we together? Yea, moreover, of bonds and of imprisonment, imprisonment. They were stoned and they were sawn asunder. Now you don't like this. Koinonia is quiet. But the Bible tells you beforehand that these men had the power. They were not helpless. Bible history makes it look like they were helpless. The Bible says they, they had the power to command deliverance. But they saw something higher. And by faith they stood. They were slain with the sword. They wandered about in sheepskins and goatskins, being destitute, afflicted, and tormented. Of whom the world, there are such men that the world was not worthy of. They walked upon the earth. Have you been given something that you say is a privilege? There are men who they are walking upon the earth, it's a blessing to the earth. The Bible says it's a privilege. They wandered in deserts and in mountains and in dens and caves 
of the earth 39 I want you to read 39 and the next verse I believe verse 40 am I am I right yes 39 and 40 read it with all your heart and your spirit ready one to read and these all uh -huh, having obtained a good report through faith receive not what now read on next verse God having provided some better thing for us that they without us there is a dimension of the manifestation of faith that God is trusting our generation to reveal and the Bible calls it the perfection of all these elders as great as their exploits are and were the Bible says that God had provided some better thing for us that they without us should not be made perfect now theologically speaking there's been two schools of thoughts just explaining this scripture a lot of people mean this to be the dispensation of grace because you would notice that all the people who were communicated were largely Old Testament people are we together now and so the better promises that many people think uh, they say that it is because these people suffered in the dispensation of the Lord, the Old Testament, and now we have access to grace, the substitutionary work of Christ. Now, that is true, but I don't believe that is all. Are we together? That is true, but the death of Christ in itself afforded us a higher platform to manifest faith. Are we together? Mm. An example. Of such opportunities is the possibility to live by the faith of the Son of God now this was a possibility they did not experience but that a man can tap into a higher frequency of faith called the faith of the Son of God not just your faith the faith of the Son of God you can bring God's faith to an operation and get results this is a better promise but that's not what we are talking about. I'm showing you men who did strange things through faith. And so if you and I must make impact in our generation, it will have to be how? By faith, through faith, by faith, through faith. So how are you going to build that house? How are you going to change the story of your family? By faith. How are you going to get out of that sickness and infirmity? Please understand what I'm saying. There is the chronicles of ordinary men who dare to believe God and change a lot of things. So faith is, is, is important to please God. And we have a testament of men and women who walked by faith. The next thing I want us to look at Is the word of God let's look at the word of God being that this is the instrument that produces faith it is important for us to look at the character and I'll be very brief the character of the word of God write this down please the word of God whether spoken or written the word of god whether spoken or written contains the life of god the word of god whether whether spoken or written contains the life of god the word of God, whether written or spoken, contains the life of God. Number two, write it. The word of God is a representation of his commitment to man. The word of God is a representation. I want you to write this. We are looking at the character. A representation of his commitment to man. Like you have a covenant, like you have a contract between two people. So the testament of his commitment to man. 
Number three. The word of God represents his will for man. Now this is important. We are going to dwell a little here. The word of God represents his will. Comes from the Greek word logos. Where we get the word word. Logos. The thoughts of a man. The will of a man. The intention of a man. So the word of God represents his intention. His will. His will. It's a legal term. His will for man. Number four. The word of God is the basis. The basis for contact with man. The word of God is the basis for contact with man. I'm giving you certain characters of the word of God as far as the manifestation of faith is concerned. The word of God is the basis for contact with man. That means that the Holy Spirit remains helpless until the word of God creates the platform for contact with man. Number five, the word of God is the only instrument capable of moving God to action. The word of God is the only instrument capable of moving God to action. God is moved to the feelings of our infirmities but not to action. The word of God is the only instrument capable of moving God to action. Write this down. The word of God contains instructions, prophecies, promises. The word of God contains instructions, prophecies, promises. Also contains principles. Are we getting blessed? Now please look up everyone. Please look up. Now there's been a lot of argument in the body of Christ as to whether this should be called the word of God. The word Bible comes from the word Biblios and that just means a book. Nothing special really. It just means a book. Are we together? Now theologically speaking for many years in the church age they did not have a compendium of 66 books like this. There are other schools of thought that argue how that there are many chapters and verses that are missing in the Bible. There are many chapters and verses that were added that should not have been in the Bible. Are we together now? And how that there are other books of the Bible. Like there are arguments about the apocryphal books, the apocrypha, the Roman Catholics use that a lot. And then there are other books, the books of Jasha. There are other books called the Annals of the Kings. There is the book of Enoch. Are we together now? Now all these books together have been argued by theologians. Some of them believe that it should be contained since the character of scripture is that all scripture was inspired of God. Are we together? And that anything that is of God should give spirit and life. So I'm, I'm just giving you an educational background on this so that you will understand. So there has been a lot of argument. In fact, currently, um, I know that there was a time certain, uh, I think a rab rabbinical association also came up with certain things and they felt that a lot should be edited in scripture. Now the Old Testament was written in Hebrew. Say Hebrew. And the uh, the New Testament was written largely in Greek and Aramaic. Are we together? Now, these people wrote these scriptures, but they were not in charge of its translation. There's no point to give you the whole story of Bible history, how that this translation were in bits and pieces. Some of these pages were missing for many years, and then they were found together with what we call the Dead Sea Scrolls. And then it was at the time of King James, King James. He was a real king, ancient king called King James. Not ancient like modern history now, King James, who authorized the publication of a compendium of these 66 books that we call the Bible. Are, are we together now? So all the 66 books, Old and New Testament together are called. Now, I'm not, the point of all of this is not to create a debate 
about other extra biblical texts or some exaggerations that were done here that's not the idea one thing we know for sure is this listen every man who contributed in the writing of this was imperfect as a person that means if God allowed them to still rob their imperfection it means the mystery is not in the letters are you getting what I'm saying now please you must understand what I'm teaching you we're examining faith Elijah was a temperous man the Bible is a compendium of many things demons spoke in this Bible is that true donkeys spoke in this Bible are we together men spoke in this Bible people lied in this Bible people use divination in this Bible so the fact that it is written here does not automatically mean it is of God you have to get this so when the Bible or when we talk about the Word of God we are not talking about just the opening of anything because you see we must balance this there are believers who say if you can show me in the bible i will do it that means you are going to get into error the, the bible is a prophetic book you can make it preach anything you want there are herbalists today when you enter their shrine you see other books and you see a very clean bible there are we together and they will read the scripture and instruct you based on that scripture and because it is in the bible you will believe i should walk no so i want us to examine what the word of god is listen to my message uh i think the living logos i done a teaching years ago on that what exactly is the word of god because none of the apostles in the early church in fact even up till um emperor emperor nero constantine and all of these people they never had the opportunity to hold a bible like this it was a taboo they were kept in temples are we together and then of course when the people of god were caught in different kinds of captivities they were hidden and taken from place to place to arrive like this as a compendium a lot happened to them are we together but the bible says let the word of christ colossians 3 verse 16 dwell in you richly so I want to ask you a question. How did the disciples grow in the word? When Jesus resurrected, I want you to go back to the book of Acts. When an average believer got up in the morning, what did he study and how did he study? Are we together? You would only go to the temple. We do it in the Anglican. For those of us who are inclined Anglican and maybe Presbyterians to do this, they have what we call first reading and second reading. Is that true? Where you come up, you read, this is the word of the Lord, thanks be to God. And then, you know, that continues. And then there are parts uh, where you recite, you know, the, the Apostles' Creed and so on and so forth like that. Now, other Pentecostal circles do not have the privilege of having that kind of thing. You just come, you preach, and then you end. This was how it was in Jewish temples. The priest, one of the, all of those people, would come up and give you one of the scrolls. They had messages for every time. So you would read it and roll it back and, and keep it. And then they could preach from it, they could speak for it, and, and so on and so forth. Now, if you don't understand this that I'm teaching, three things will happen to you. Number one, you can fall into the error of absorbing the letters blindly and believing that you are growing in the word because you are consuming these letters that's the first error or number two you can just say since this is not the word of god let me throw it away and destroy your spiritual life there are people today now you know i was talking with a few people and they were talking to me and said look the use of iPad and, and now please I don't have if you are using devices here that's the the, the goal is not to to um, um, discredit you on all of that we're in the 21st century but I think a, a group of gentlemen were talking to me and they said apostle what is your take on the use of iPad as far as the revelation of the Word of God we have is concerned because because our concept of scripture is that I'm holding a book a man of God even said in Revelations, God told John, write, not type. <laughs> ah, 
Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, see, personally, I honestly, I honestly believe. You see, there's something about holding this thing. <laughs> there is a chemistry between the letters of this book and your eyes. I, I absolutely believe that. But I don't have a problem. I mean, I have all kinds of things. We use it on our devices, phones, laptops, and, and whatever you have. What is the word of God? Write this down. Let's define what the word of God is. Since this is the instrument for producing faith, write this down. The word of God is any communication. The word of God is any communication or any platform. Any communication or any platform where the voice of God the ways of God write it down where the voice of God the ways of God and the life of God can be accessed the word of God is any communication or any platform where the voice of God please listen the ways of God and what? The life of God can be. That means what I am speaking to you now. If it contains the voice of God. If it contains, listen, the ways that is the principles of God. And if it is capable of releasing the life of God. What is this called? The word of God. Meaning as I'm speaking to you now. What I am saying is worthy of being written here. The only thing is that I was not part of those who were specifically, you know, brought together to make the 66 books. God's idea is not for us to be limited by 66 books. God's idea is that our lives become a continuation of the books that are written here. Are, are we together so God's ultimate goal is not for you to be sound in scripture but that you become it an expression that's why the Bible says we are living epistles say living epistles so that look at how it is if you read something like verily verily I say unto you the words that I speak listen they are spirit and they are life are we together god's idea is not just for me to read it but become that scripture so that whoever does not have an opportunity and left his bible at home can also read it in me are you getting the point so imagine every believer like a page in the scripture releasing certain possibilities Men were not supposed to know God just by reading the Bible. They were supposed to know God by interacting with the church. So that way before anybody opens this book, he should open the book and say, Oh, so this is an explanation. So this attitude is called kindness. Are you getting what I'm saying? Ah, uh, Some of you are lost. Let's come again. I want to deliver you from religion. Listen, listen listen the power is not just in cramming scriptures the power is in the words that are written here that the holy spirit can use this word to forge something upon your spirit so that you become an expression of it not just a talker of it and that's where we destroy ourselves the word of god is not greek the word of God is not Hebrew. Listen, the word of God is not English. The word of God is any platform for accessing him. Listen, if there is a way I can make this become the voice of God and a platform to speak a particular scripture within the period of that miracle, this is the word of God. How do I teach this now? Help me, Holy Spirit. If I prophesy to you and I say, Hey, Jimmy, 
may the lord bless you and it happens do you know what why it happened because what i have spoken is the word of god it was a platform where the life of god could flow to him if i use oil to lay on your head the oil works because the word of god is on it so the word of god is not the right things about god the right things about god how many of you know granite now this bible is like the granite the real granite do you just eat the thing like that you open it but you cannot access what is inside until you come to it are you getting what i'm saying see brothers and sisters that is why many people read this but they cannot get faith i'm going to show you something how faith comes but we must understand the character and the word of god i read a lot i study the bible but i have the consciousness that i am an expression of the word of god are we together now so when you come to me i don't run and open the bible and say this verse is this verse that uh -uh. that i left my bible at home does not mean the word of god is at home the word of god is living and active it's your bible I'm, I'm teaching you your bible see i'm showing you why we don't get results i can hold this against a witch and put it under my bed and snore myself into a terrible dream are we together i may think that because this was under my pillow it does not have any power in itself the power is released listen when this is studied by faith by faith means that you believe that although these are letters the spirit of god can breathe upon this this is what logos you see the word logos and rema that people are speaking rema is not just the revealed word rema is when the breath of the spirit comes upon this letter it's like the breaking of the ground not seed and all of a sudden you can receive it so you don't need to recite the scripture you only need to have the life thereof the recitation of the scripture is to add to your excellence in communication and to strengthen your conviction it is not the recitation in my name they shall cast out devils jesus did not say if you stand before people the name he said is not jesus we mentioned jesus so that they will know that the office we are acting upon is the christ the name is not jesus the name is lord and lord is a revelation it means absolute master sovereign controller so i look at a spirit i'm not speaking but i'm casting him in the name of jesus the name of jesus is not a recitation in the name of j-e-s-u-s -E be healed no the name of jesus is an office so whether i am talking or not is still the name of jesus are you getting what i'm saying now jesus meets somebody a madman in gadara the demons beg him and beg him and say don't cast out what did he say go now that word go you say it and it may not work because the go is not just g o the go was simply an a voice activated communicator of the word of god whatever he said even if he said come they still would have gone it's not it's not like they needed intelligent english because they, they spoke good english the demons say we understand no please don't be excited for nothing i really want you to get this thing are we together the word of god is not just about your voice the word of god is about an understanding that makes you become a platform for his life so as i am walking down i'm giving the word of god expression if i happen to open my mouth and speak to you i have given the word of god more expression that is the reason why a donkey could still communicate the word of god 
that is why handkerchiefs and aprons they were taken could the handkerchief speak they could not speak but they were going by the word of god jesus sent men in his name they were not born again yet they returned with results they said the demons were subject to us through thy name hallelujah why do we study the bible write this quickly we study the bible for three major reasons number one we study the bible because contained in the word of god contained in the bible as we know now i can call it interchangeably the word of god you understand the bible contains the most accurate dealing of god with man the bible contains the most accurate dealing of god with man we study it because it's the most accurate historical compendium of god's dealing with man there are many history books but the bible gives us the most accurate compendium historically speaking of god's dealings with man number two the bible contains principles promises prophecies from god to man the bible contains principles promises prophecies from god to man so we study so that we can have an understanding of these things number three we study the bible because it is the only book we study the bible because it is the only book that can authorize the holy spirit to make manifest what is written therein we study the bible because it is the only book that can authorize the spirit of god or the holy spirit to make manifest the things that are written therein no other spirit is legally authorized to manifest everything written here now it does not mean other spirits cannot manifest what is written here but only the holy ghost is authorized to back up to make manifest meaning listen listen meaning if i read the bible and i see by his stripes i am healed now listen when the word of god contained is released in my spirit because of this book is giving me access to that word of god now the holy spirit is authorized to make real that which i have believed from the book are you getting what i'm saying now a time is going to come maybe not in this current church age but a time is going to come we are not going to read this again i hope you know <laughs> yeah a time will come we will not read this but we'll continue growing in the word a time is going to come we will not read this again it's not heresy it will not be in this dispensation the book of revelation ends with the beginning of a new dispensation we do not yet know what will happen therein the same way before our time it was only from acts chapter one you know when the church was born and now our dispensation has had the privilege of access to read this are we together other saints believers still in our dispensation did not read this yet the word of god was mighty in them for instance apollos the bible says he was even mighty in scripture this is where we miss it we read the letters and ben Hadad, the king of syria gathered all the hosts together gather me oh god gather me gather me oh god you see now listen listen that looks very sincere but the word of god is not on that statement i'm being careful so you don't feel offended but it's the truth i want to teach you how faith works do you know for many years i really didn't understand how faith worked until one time i i took out i studied almost 11 people those who represented men of faith 
from Bishop Oyedeko to Kenneth Copeland and his wife to Dr. Frederick Casey Price to all of the men hallmarks of faith E.W. Kenyon I sat down with these people and I started seeing it I said so this is where we are missing it we recite scriptures and believe that the recitation is where the power is released no sir are we together am i discrediting the reading of the word of god of course not of course not you can see how old this bible is it was not like that something made it so it's called diligence diligence until the bible you you see it i don't know how many times i've laminated this bible again and again i've read it to a point that the pages i can close my eyes you say matthew okay i mean Isaiah. i wanted to try you know i can literally open any page everywhere is marked up and down so i believe it but i found out that many of us keep accumulating this and then we wonder why things are not working for us the word of god is the spirit and the life of god the spirit and the life of god the spirit and the life of god whether released by the reading of these letters or communicated through the speaking of the holy spirit faith comes now let's discuss faith we're back to faith romans 10 19 romans 10 17 is god helping us tonight I'm working this thing with us because I want us to understand faith. We are going to pray. Romans 10, 19. Read it please. 10, 17. One, two, read. Uh-huh. Now, the word hearing. Let me correct two things. The word hearing, the first hearing is a very broad word. It does not just mean faith comes by using your ears. Are we together? The word hearing is a very broad word. And there are many synonyms you can add to it. Number one is perception. 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 Faith comes by perceiving. Not just hearing with the ear alone like speaking to you physically. Faith comes by perception because when you read your Bible, you don't hear anything. Correct? You don't hear what you read like this. You can hear through your ears. And remember, even about hearing, the Bible says, he that has an ear. Meaning not everybody has this kind of ear. Are we together? So, the first hearing there means perception. Any platform that can create perception. It's not just limited to hearing. And then the second hearing there means understanding or comprehension. I want you to correct that. Not necessarily in your Bible. I'm not saying it's wrong. So faith comes by perceiving and understanding and that by the word of God. That's how faith comes. When you just read it and it says hearing and hearing, there is a dimension of application. It means listening again and again and that can help. But the accurate picture is perception and understanding. Everybody say perception. Say understanding. The second hearing there is understanding understandest what thou readest on that was where the problem was the utopian enoch he was not reading he was reading but understandest what thou readest perception so when i'm studying the word of god the bible now and i'm reading it the moment perception can come out of it the word of god has come into my spirit i don't have to hear now when i'm listening to bible on tape or hearing a preacher teach like this and the word of god comes it is still hearing so when we say hearing i don't just mean your ears your ears your eyes your dreams your visions any platform that can create perception can impart faith mm. listen listen there are people who have had dreams and got up from those dreams are we together and took certain actions those dreams brought solid conviction to their lives i shared with you about the encounter that i had with jesus christ now that encounter is not written in the bible that joshua Seman will have an encounter but in that encounter i told you jesus did not speak to me he never opened his mouth to speak yet he spoke so many things i left that encounter full of faith and stephen full of faith where did he read anything that we see faith there
do not limit your Bible study to just hearing and reading any platform that creates the perception of the word can release faith so the first is perception the most common platform of perception is hearing your ears because you hear sounds sounds so as I'm speaking to you now if you cover your ears it's difficult for you to read my lips do you know why I'm speaking this to you how do the blind deaf and dumb receive faith how do the blind deaf and dumb receive faith if someone is blind if someone is deaf if someone is dumb are you saying faith cannot come to him are we together you see people go to crusade grounds completely deaf meaning as a man of god is preaching other people are jumping they themselves are not even following yet at the end they are healed and we are going to be finding out later that their faith healed them so how did it come question two a dead man who cannot breathe cannot talk cannot do anything how does he come back to life what is the principle of resurrection and then how did the bones of elijah not breathing still transfer the anointing to somebody everybody say the word of god that thing you call the bones of elijah was the word of god any platform that can release the life of god Thank you, Jesus. Say after me, the word of God is not limited to my hearing. Thank you. The word of God is not limited to my hearing alone. The word of God can come into my spirit through any mechanism that can create perception and understanding are you getting what i'm saying meaning the word of god can come to you through a christian music now you are listening to a song play something play what you are playing watch this listen if this guy is anointed hallelujah okay that's all right that's all right thank you look at what this guy is playing play it are you hearing any words english is there hebrew is there your language i want you to follow me carefully are we together now but you see the anointing that is released from this i can put the word of god on this sound now and you will see miracles happening are you getting it now <laughs> i can put it by saying then this now the sound that leaves this keyboard does not become an ordinary sound it becomes the word of god why a platform that can release the life of god the power of god are you getting what i'm saying now you will hear it and somebody now will come under the anointing and you are wondering the operation of the word of god this is ordinary keyboard that's how you can be listening to worship in your room and faith is rising you are not exactly reading any scripture per se yet faith is rising because through it the word of god is coming are you getting what i'm saying the word of god the word of god is at work in me the presence of the holy spirit in my life is a sign that i was born of the word if you are not born of the word he cannot come because he comes in response to the word so i am born of the word of god new life is in me so the holy spirit is comfortable to live in me are we together and every time that spirit and life is in me he can release what is being said now i can speak it to happen but i don't have to speak it alone to happen i just need to create a platform for it to happen look let me tell you brothers and sisters if you believe this you will know why we pray for the sick not necessarily having to say be healed you just touch them 
and you're saying sir you see some somebody who tried to say here this is where the pain is and you are touching his head how does touching the head heal pain at the back is the word of god you are only placing the word of god on them so you have become an expression of the word the word became flesh that's what you have now become so you are not only reading scripture you are the word becoming flesh the word becoming flesh when you play keyboard you transfer the word of god to it this is what is called the ministration of life the ministration of life you are transferring life you are transferring life to that word are, are we together now so when you put the word of god upon this now deliverance begins to happen healings begin to happen a sinner can sit down that's why people come for concerts and at the end of it you make an altar call and they come out you didn't teach john 3 16 but the word of god convicted them because it came from the music i want you to understand faith i really want you to understand faith this may look complicated but as we continue you will see how it ties up it will make your life powerful i don't move around hoping that demons will respond to my quoting of scripture i know a lot of scripture to the glory of god but i am a life-giving spirit i am a life-giving spirit my body has become a communicator of the word of god the spirit and the life of god so if i shake you for instance shake me for me if i shake you i release the life and the power of god are you seeing that if i shake you i release the life and the power of god you may be sick i may not know but as soon as i leave you you find out i've been healed now i did not ask you whether you are sick the word of god saw a need and because i have become the word of god it feels it immediately are we together say i'm a manifestation of the word of god please i want you to say it i am a manifestation of the word of god say this my goal for studying scripture my goal for studying scripture is not just to be learned but to be an expression of the word of god my goal for studying scripture is not just to have head knowledge it's not just to be learned but to be a walking bible so when men look at your life they can read a scripture immediately through your life living epistles we fool ourselves in the body of christ that because we have finished the bible cover to cover and by god's grace i've done this many times so we say i've read the bible cover to cover if i'm a man of god as i'm speaking the bible says blah, blah, blah. And, and once they are talking these spirits are saying my god these guys don't even know what the word of god is we fool ourselves and at the end of it nothing happens are we together and then somebody comes with a saxophone or a guitar and starts playing anywhere you see the manifestation of the power of god the word of god must have preceded it because the holy spirit is not authorized to manifest when the word of god has not gone ahead so when you see the word of god moving when you see the holy spirit moving he's confirming the word confirming the word whether spoken or revealed the manifestation of the word of god the manifestation of the word of god i tell you as i as i speak this thing you see sometimes because we're talking about the word of god and we're dividing it accurately to open up these things the spirit of god let me tell you something about the holy spirit the moment you begin to communicate the word of god very accurately it's like his body is itching him he wants to move he wants to confirm it i'm telling you how to confirm the word it's not holy spirit move move that's not it let the word of god be communicated accurately and it's like it's like he cannot i'm not talking of just shaking under the anointing i'm talking of signs and wonders and miracles you place the word of god upon everything the word of god is on the air the word of god is on your chair everything that can communicate the word of god that's what makes the anointing when the word of god saturates a place the holy spirit follows everywhere the word goes the holy spirit follows everywhere the word goes if the word goes to your kidney he's following it there 
if the word goes to your academics is following it there if the word goes to your business you don't get the holy spirit to move outside the word of god is witchcraft so send the word of god and the holy spirit follows the word are we together yeah you send the word of god and the spirit moves in that direction so if i declare that i prophesy to your finances if the holy spirit does not back that then it was not the word of god even if i quote scripture are we together so the manifestation of the holy spirit is proof that the word of god has been released in a place the manifestation of the holy spirit is proof that his word has been released we pride ourselves with theological knowledge we pride ourselves with knowledge of scriptures john chapter 3 verse 16 for god so loved the world but it's not the word of god so the holy spirit cannot back it please hear what i'm teaching you the holy spirit only comes to the scene when the word of god is released whether through speaking or through any platform including your body being a manifestation so when you want to see the energy of the spirit released then be sure that what you are speaking or doing is the word of god are you getting what i'm saying now mm. if it's not the word of god you are not going to get the holy spirit there please hear me the degree to which we have seen the miraculous is the extent to which the word of god has come out so you can speak 100 words only 20 of them are the word of god the holy spirit backs only 20 percent of your communication are you getting what i'm saying this is the difference between what we call anointed people they may not have all the verses but their bodies have become greater platforms to release the word of god so the holy spirit in answer to the word confirms them are we together I'm a carrier of the word of God. Not just by cramming scriptures. I have read it. But the word of God flows through me like water. The spirit and the life of God. I understand the principles. As I walk in the consciousness of that principle. And with the understanding. Every time I utter my word. Or respond in any direction. As the Holy Spirit would direct. That's what we call faith. I will tell you what faith is now. Faith is your response to and from the word of God not just scriptures your response to the word of God so you have to make it be sure that what you are responding to is not just scripture but the word of God and it is called faith and that faith will bring performance more on that next week I'm not talking so much about I need you to understand the word of God so that when we begin to teach on the dynamics the operation of faith you will know why certain things are not happening in our lives our idea of faith largely has been correct assimilation of scripture correct recitation of the same and then expectation in hope that something will happen it will never work that way are we together John 3 16 for this and that and that and that happened for we know the grace of our lord that though he was poor yet he became rich so that we through his poverty might be, and we wrap it and we say lord this is your word respond and say no it is true that i spoke that through the servants but you are only speaking scripture theologically listen let me tell you if the word of god was just scripture then the scribes should be have been the greatest carriers of the word they knew the entire pentateuch of heart and jesus looked at them and said ye are not knowing the scripture he said you search the scripture for a thing in them you will find life and you will not come to me listen if jesus appears here and somebody is writing a book the bible says scripture testified of him is that true scripture listen if you are writing a book about me and i show up who is a more authentic medium are you getting what i'm saying now so the scribes had head knowledge that prophesied about jesus when jesus came they said no jesus we don't want you but we want the scrolls and he said you are hypocrites you read the scrolls they talk about me now you're reading i am here as the word become flesh you are rejecting me yet you are doing bible study 
and Jesus said you are hypocrites are we together but a woman just ran and said thou I mean blind but if I may but touch the hem of who the word of God she perceived she didn't read anywhere but she saw men looking and she said I have heard and something has happened in my spirit I perceive and I understand that this man has power to heal there is nowhere in scripture where she read that you should take a step of faith she created an action based on her perception God honored that action and she was healed I'll teach you that next week don't take action until you perceive and understand the word you will be wasting your time so we take many steps do you know people can come and stand here with their tight frowning no perception no discernment no understanding all these men of God am I sure a Jimmy's tie I'm looking at this tie I hope it's not my money that is going to buy another tie and you are there grumbling and arguing and you drop that and the Bible says whatever is not of faith is sin now men of God will not tell you that because they need the money so they say no problem unbelief or not that's your business just drop it let's use it but I'm telling you the sincere truth it must be by faith so here's what the Bible says Hebrews 11 verse 6 Hebrews 11 verse 6 give it to us please goodness Hebrews 11 verse 6 Hebrews 11 verse 6 I want us to read it now you will understand all that I've taught you there is a protocol to faith ready want to read <laughs> but without faith it is impossible to please him full stop whoever wants to be a man of faith what is the first step it says for he that comes to God must believe not his word leave the issue of manifestation you must believe that he exists it your perception must on you must understand the person you are dealing with the integrity of his person and his ability to provide for you number one then number two that he's a rewarder that he's a rewarder there are two things God wants to be known for to release faith one that he exists his existence means a lot because if he exists then he's mighty if he exists then he can hear my God's not dead he's surely alive he's living on the inside roaring like a lion there's a song like that have you read have you listened to that song do you believe God is alive? I know you will say yes. Your life does not show it. Are we together? Because if you believe, it will compel you to take action. Look at me. Listen. Do you believe there is water on this table? Do you believe? Do you believe? Now you can come and carry it. Do you believe there is water on this table? Yes. You will not come and carry it. Because you consider it to be a waste of time. So do you believe there is God? Yes. So you can relate to him. This is why people do not pray. They don't believe God is alive. Let me tell you the truth. The revelation behind a life of prayer is not religious struggles. It's not an attempt to compete with people. I pray for eight hours. You pray for six hours. All that is junk. Prayer is predicated upon an understanding that unto him that answers prayer shall all flesh come after the service people are going to be waiting here queuing right to the back because you believe i'm not going what if i just i use style and just run out if i do that for three weeks you will stop standing here because it's a sign that you doubt my ability the first doubt of believers is not even in the power of god to produce that result it's even his existence i know you think this thing i'm telling you is powerful the word of god is guiding us here do you believe God exists? It's a very big deal. I've given my life to him. No problem. Do you believe he exists? He's alive. He's alive. Sing it. He's alive forever. He's alive. Amen. He's alive. Amen. He's alive. Jesus is alive forever. He's alive. Amen. Do you know why every time you visit?
visit a herbalist, you must live with a charm. You don't visit whether that charm is a goat or is something you must live with. We call them tokens. Tokens are representations of the existence of something. Are we together? So you go to him. I must marry that man. Put him in a bottle for me. And then they carry his picture. Throw it in a bottle and lock it. Correct? And give you. Say hide it somewhere. For as long. Let me tell you. The devil does not need that bottle. He needs your faith. And since your faith must be tied on something. He gave you a bottle. Let me tell you why it still works. Even if you are born again. You are born again because although you are born again you truly still you have tasted of the power of that charm something in you still tells you it's working so it continues working the day a higher revelation and a higher anointing contents it stops working a man of god one time was hungry and was passing and he saw a chicken that they had slaughtered for sacrifice he carried the chicken and roasted it and ate do you know why he never believed that that thing can do anything to him he said they shall take up poison who the believers believers in god not in miracles you believe in miracles but do you believe in god we're talking about knowing that god exists you know joshua selman exists but do you believe he exists let me tell you something you are a hypocrite if you claim to believe what is written here and don't believe the one who wrote it are we together oh i believe all things are mine do you believe the god who said it lord i don't believe in you but i believe in what you said does that make sense you don't believe in me but you believe in what i said no me and what i have said are one my word is my bond my word represents me when i'm not there you can take my word to represent me if I listen, Sam, if you are dedicating an album and I stand before Koinonia, listen to me, and I say, Joshua Selman, on behalf of myself, I give you one million naira. What is that? That's my word. Now, during if you go somewhere and you are doing your calculations, you will calculate and say, One million naira is coming from Apostle. Have I given you the one million? But you know me. You believe in me it's up to you now to believe i can deliver it let me tell you what you do you first size me and look at me can apostle really bring out one million naira are we together so when you ascertain that i'm able to do it number two am i willing when you ascertain that you say i believe it so when god says i will bless you your own belief sizes him and says no <laughs> god you are great but this triplets you are talking about don't don't joke with us so the cure is not just action the action part is hard we're coming to that but if you act upon something you don't believe is a waste if you believe in something and don't act is also a waste are you seeing how we are cleaning it up but we are starting tonight with the understanding of god his word his integrity say i believe in god Shout it, I believe in God. I believe He is alive. I believe He exists. That's why I love the Apostles' Creed. The Anglicans recite it all the time. Right? I love it so much because it's an encapsulation. It's called, it's, it's like a statement of faith. Sometimes you need to recite what you really believe. I believe my business can rise. I believe my life can do this i believe my wife can get pregnant that's wonderful but do you believe in god there is no guarantee in scripture that if you believe those things they will happen he that believeth on me john 12 14 please give it to us we'll find somewhere and pray now john 12 14 john 12 14 the son of the living god himself speaking john 12 14 john 14 12 John 14 12 John 14 12 thank you read it please everyone one to read stop 
it is important who you believe not just that you believe who you believe jesus never said if you believe on things you believe that things that will happen they will happen he says verily verily i say unto you he that believe on what on me i want your faith to be directed to me not my works not my works i believe all things are possible but the reason why i believe all things are possible is because of him that can make them possible the end of your faith should be tied to a person and his integrity not the things he can do restful confidence he that believeth on me the works that i do shall he do also and what greater works than this shall he do because i go unto my father do you believe in him do you believe he exists sister listen to me you it's impossible to believe that fibroid will leave you until you believe in who the healer is are you getting what i'm saying man of god i believe my ministry will be great you are joking you are just playing games but i know whom i have believed and so i am persuaded in his ability that he is able the first thing is to believe the person then i am persuaded we leave the person and we believe in the ability and the things that will happen and we never get results he said is i see this happen all the time innocent people not taking out time do you know this is why intimacy is important with god intimacy does not help you believe things intimacy gives you an encounter an encounter furnishes the reality of god in you so that whatever he says is as good as him so you can believe jesus son of god i believe in you i believe in you we call you a messiah jesus son of god i believe When I lock up myself, I carry my Bible. I set an atmosphere that brings an intense presence of God. And when I lie down and open my Bible, number one, I am not reading for preaching. MOG, I'm not reading for preaching. I'm not reading for recitation. John chapter 1, verse 5. In this and that and that. And, and we no, 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 no. I'm looking at it. Jesus said, if you believe in me, and I sit down there. Holy Ghost, help me believe this truth. Jesus said, his presence is there. Jesus said, and in my mind, I'm looking at people gathered for miracle service. They don't know me. Maybe they are discussing among themselves, where is the man? And the man is there walking on his faith. Lord, I know you are able. I don't know what I'm going to see here, but I believe in you. There is no assurance anywhere physically, but I believe in you. And when I step and come right here and sit down, the moment the worship team finishes, do you know what I tell the Holy Spirit every time? I say, let's go. It's time to go and do this. As I climb this stage, I'm an ordinary man, but not alone. He's standing by my side. And so I can speak and make every audacious statement. And because of what is coming, listen, let me tell you, I believe in Jesus. I really believe in him. When he tells me something, I don't doubt. You will always doubt God till you encounter him. It's not the issue of I'm trying. Now, let me tell you, watch this. The body of Christ has fabricated a formula that if not careful, it will be our carnal attempt to recite and to 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 um, replace encounters is the concept a false concept of recitation of scriptures listen what we call confession comes from the word homologio meaning speak that which has been said i believe that there is a step to that but let me tell you what many people do we think that we just get up and start speaking 
I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed in the name of Jesus. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I won't hear anything. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. And you said, I said it hundred times. Listen, I'm not, I'm not being sarcastic. I hope you understand. I'm just trying to correct us because we will soon get frustrated with all those things. I'm blessed. I'm blessed in the name of Jesus. I'm talking to my mind. No, listen, your mind was designed to submit. Your mind is not that rebellious. It was designed to submit. You have not created the condition for it to submit. The Bible says, casting down every yetzah, every imagination and every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of Christ. Your mind can submit. The mistake that we make is that we don't take our time to meditate. Lord, this shall not happen. In the name of Jesus, it can't happen. But it's happening. It can't happen. In the name of Jesus, it can't happen. It can't happen. Me, God forbid, I must carry my child. I'm carrying my miracle baby. Now, that is good. I don't have a problem with that confession. But what is the revelation behind it? What is the revelation that sponsors that thing? What you are speaking is not the word of God. What you are speaking is emotion. What you are speaking is fear. I can guarantee you most of what we do is a reaction to fear. It's just a spiritual reaction to fear or a spiritualized reaction to fear. Because, listen, if you are speaking right now and they tell you your registration date is closing now for whatever, maybe a job, you need 100,000. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I call forth helpers. They are coming. Hey, they are coming. Oh, oh God, they are coming. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Let me show you that it's not just faith, it's fear. They were praying for the apostles to be released from prison in the book of Acts. They were praying and asking that God will send angels. God now sent the angels. Peter came out and they opened the door, saw Peter shot him back and kept praying that's what many of us do are we together no i can't find my wallet i'm a tighter what is this i'm a tighter i dropped my tight in koinonia oh god i'm a, I'm a tighter at least it's better than nothing but i'm teaching you restful confidence say restful confidence if you are to be honest you will know his fear I notice the loudest prayer in koinonia is against the spirit of death and the calling of destiny helpers i have noticed it personally that every time i say everybody stand up and you know sometimes you can lead it seriously be serious i mean when we say go is like an arrow all kinds of where are your destiny helpers? Ah, where are they Praise the Lord. Can you get to a point where when you speak, you speak based on conviction? When you say, I shall not die, you are not helping yourself believe. An encounter has furnished a reality in your life and it's on the strength of that reality you say, I shall not die. How many of you pray to sit down on your chair? How many how many of you prayed to sit down okay you need okay praise the lord are you hearing what i'm saying how many of you when you came through perception and understanding you knew that there are laws that were created by God to keep this chair. Who among you is sitting down now and say, Oh Lord, I really believe you. Ah, no, this chair, you can't disgrace me now. Now, does that mean you are not a believer for keeping quiet? That's how restful your life should be. You can sit down inside fire and you only talk when necessary. Because there is something you know. Are you hearing what I'm saying? 
please I, I want you to believe what I'm teaching you otherwise this series is a waste I'm taking out time to pound on this because I want you to believe God you step in and somebody looks at you and says I'm your grandmother go and ask about the people I have killed I vow that you will not see December this year it's a vow I vow that you will not see December this year you now go back Lord is this how I'm going to go what did I do who did I offend let me tell you what most believers will say God forbid then later they will sleep and say Kai Kai now let me tell you that woman herself is even afraid of you she's but because she gave an attitude and said I dare you she left you with an attitude you too you claim to have the attitude but there was no restful confidence after a while you say apostle um i don't know I don't mind i don't be it's not me but i'm just telling you so that you will pray for me it's still fear it's still fear the same way an intelligent student writes an exam he knows what he wrote and they'll just look and say do you know only four people passed the student may just feel an inkling of fear but the student knows that even if it's one student that passed i am the one now he's not boasting out of nothing he knows what he read he understood it he cross-checked the question after the exam and he was absolutely satisfied it's called restful confidence the other person who does not really know what he did is now hoping that's why when he sees ah, finally have you seen the best student lord i'm grateful i give you all the praise but i expected it this is how your life must be that you know god sister you are 34 you are not going to marry and all of a sudden you start going and say talk mountain to mountain valley to valley everywhere you start running all around and you just fidget there are many of us the moment somebody speaks to you someone holds your hand and says for sinner i had a vision in that vision i saw cats eating you up for sinner does not sleep for one week are you getting what i'm saying now i will tell you what the problem is the problem is not the vision the problem is not whether it's true or false the problem is you if i look at you now and say for sinner you're a man will you pray about it i'll tell you why it's not just because god told you you're a man there are too many things that have happened in your life to convince you beyond imagination you don't just believe you're a woman you don't just trust you're a woman you know you're a woman notice the progression i'm believing god i trust god i know my god i know him i know him god it doesn't look like him i know him when can you say you know him that's what moses knew he knew his ways though he slay me yet will i praise him because i know him i know him i'm trusting god to get to a point in my life where I don't just jack up my faith trying to believe God. 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 Oh Lord, I believe in you. Oh Lord, I... no, 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 no. At that point, you will move mountains. You will join these elders. Brothers and sisters, mountains will stand before you people will even pity you their eyes because they think you are dead at the end of it they will not see the mountain again and they'll see you shaking yourself that's how great people live in this life this ministry you have seen is here by faith by faith by faith by faith i've come to a point where i'm not trying to believe god i really trust him faith is based on the speaking of god trust is based on your experience with god you have had an experience with god there is a track record of his credibility so you can trust yea though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death he says i fear no evil for thou art with me thy rod and thy staff they comfort me he says thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies we need to begin to walk by faith 
there are too many things in our lives that attempt to challenge our trust in God but you must get to a point where you say from today I walk by faith and the first encounter is to make the word of God real in your life look at me the greatest investment you can make in your life is not having an education the greatest investment you can make in your life is not just having good friends the greatest investment you can make in your life is to make your life saturated with the word of God where you take the word of God as a project you have given yourself a basis for true faith because there are mountains to cross I like that Don Muen song though we are few we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before and this is the song we'll be singing forever holy is the Lord holy We're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before. Listen, Koinonia, I speak to you. You are not the first to go through challenges. There are men on earth who have crossed this river. They have crossed the river of barrenness. They turn barrenness to triplets. Are we together? There are men who turn being a pauper not affording 10 naira to giving billions to nations there are men of god who turn two members to nations you are not the first there are those who overrode the mockery of men it's time for you to leave the level you are in this life of pity oh god won't you show up for me no sir he will show up when you are ready Though we are few, you're surrounded by many who have crossed the river before. And this is the song we'll be singing forever. Oh, holy is the Lord. Listen. so God puts his word upon your life Femi you will be great he will never do any other thing until you do something with the word you can sit there forever and die a failure it does not mean he lied the word of God does not act on itself by the time you look at your life my father is not doing well my mother is not doing well I came from a village please listen I am one of 17 children I am even the second to the last born. I am 35 years old. I've not done anything meaningful. You look at all of this and God says, if you believe me, God never gave men instructions until he revealed himself to them. The first assignment was to reveal himself to Abraham, revealed himself to Moses. Then he now sent them. They, every time they wanted to disobey, they remembered him. They remembered him the same way somebody want to tell you look there's one there's somebody that I saw in whatsapp I spoke with him and he said he's looking for a wife and the way you have been desperately looking for a husband or a wife I think I can do a range for you and he said no problem God works in many ways I believe but that is not faith it's unbelief are we together listen make up your mind today that you will never take any action in unbelief until you stay and believe god this is why people who rush through things in life suffer they rush to start business they rush to marry they rush to enter a relationship they rush to do this do you know why when challenges push you you will not just look at what you are looking at you have to look at god you have to go back and say lord i know you all you spoke you said koinonia will rise you said you will give us a voice i believe you many graduates are holding their certificates roaming around the streets in nigeria angry the same people can bring notes for you when they were in 200 level they said god told me i will be great 
fast forward many years they are now holding they were never believing in god they were believing in that certificate they were just hoping that god was the certificate now that they've held the certificate they are moving around and you are asking them where were your visions where were your dreams you said god gave you courage god told you you will never fail brothers and sisters what has god told you leave what he has told you and focus on him the one who spoke i'm reintroducing to you today a god who is dependable i'm reintroducing to you today a god who had parted the sea this bible is a chronicle of his ability a chronicle of his integrity so that you will believe him away with all those talk we have mocked god we have cursed god because of our challenges i know there are challenges I never said there would not be. That's why I read you Hebrews 11. But I want to see your reaction. Show me your reaction under fire. And I show you whether you know God or not. Show me your reaction when things are not happening. And I can tell you whether you know God. Though he slay me. Will I be honest if I say I do not know him? I know him. I know him. He is dependable. If I die today without a miracle, I still know him. That's what made the people in Hebrews 11. They knew him so much, they rejected deliverance. Listen, listen. Imagine, for instance, that God gives you two options in life. Just imagine. And God says, you will go through a season with me for six years and you will become so mighty or you will go through a season for one year you will start moving fast but you will not become as mighty as six years let me tell you what many of us will choose a bed in hand is what 20 in the bush oh god thank you for giving me this one year i can i can pay the price but there are those who know god and say lord even if it's 10 years let's go because one step in faith will give you 20 years worth of miracle one step in faith one step in faith have you not seen how god wiped the tears of people and changed the lives of people overnight men who trusted god koinonia i'm introducing to you a god you need to know before you start claiming to believe his word you must have an encounter with this god you must create the atmosphere for his word to be real in your life let it not just be talk 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 cheap talk talk no sir anything god cannot give me no man would claim to say he can give me anything god cannot give me that's why i can look at any man and say thank you for your open door but go with it god did not open that door and i will not go back to sleep and regret i believe god brothers and sisters look at me i have gone through mountains and valleys in my life make no mistakes about it don't you think i'm just talking to you from a standpoint of comfort i have gone through things that very few people can go through and survive i know that god is mighty by and large in life everything you trust will fail you and a time will come you will no longer hold on to things but a person pastors have called me man of god i've listened to your messages but nothing is working in my ministry and the first question i ask them is are you sure you are called and they say yes i said if you believe you are called did you hear what god told you they say yes i say stay there stay at the last instruction he gave you and die there there's a song that says i will be a good soldier he says i will die at my post if he does not shift a post let me die there i will survive the mockery i will survive the ridicule i don't have to be under pressure to explain things to people no it's not like this actually it's, it's, it's god that told me you will never believe him until you encounter him you will never believe him until you encounter him you will never believe him until you encounter him koinonia please hear me faith the foundation of faith is an encounter with god an experience that furnishes the reality of him there are real mountains you will face you will face all kinds of mountains even the most trusted people in your life cannot take his place 
a time will come you will have to stand alone and say lord jesus i trust you i trust you though we are few we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before and this is the song we'll be singing forever holy is the lord holy is the lord he is the lord though we are few though we are few we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before and this is the song we'll be singing forever I want you to fall in love with your Bible tonight. Listen, please, listen, listen, please listen to me. I know you have books in your library. Listen to me, please. I know you have books in your library. I know you have DVDs. I know you have CDs. But I bring you to a point tonight where you eat this word till something leaves it and enters your spirit. I have in my phone a compendium of the words of Jesus. Only the words of Jesus spoken. Only everything Jesus ever said in the Bible. Only it. I listen to it every time I love the words of Jesus I listen to it sometimes I let it run for hours as I sleep and I have encounters I wake up under certain intense dimensions I know something happened I don't need to know what happened I know something happened are we together I know that something happened to me and encounter I'm a very busy person just returned from a trip today tomorrow we're off for another one you know Eddie was driving me we're coming from the bank and he asked me a question he said apostle do you ever rest I may live a busy life but not too busy for this this is the most accurate picture compendium of the dealings of God with men I don't read I read my Bible emotionally I don't read my Bible intellectually. When I look at it, I see myself. If it be thou, bid me come. I, I, I replace Peter and I stand there. I look at all the challenges that are before me. There's a peace in my heart. In spite of all the darkness that surrounds me. And this peace that I know only comes alive every time I hear your voice. There's a light in my soul. In spite of all the darkness that surrounds me. And this light in my soul only comes alive every time i hear your voice listen brothers and sisters i want you to hear me if you do not come to a point of restful confidence through the word you will shake like a leaf at life at a point in time you will feel like dying that's what makes people commit suicide they get to a point in their lives where they move left there is no way out they move right they are pressed to the core and they think the only way is to drink to smoke or get a gun and blow themselves this word 
can minister the life of God to you. This is ordinary scripture. But the moment you begin to read it, believing that out of it will come the word of God, I assure you, you will see miracles in your life and ministry. Sister, I'm prophesying to you, it's not over. I don't know who said it's over, but you take this Bible and recreate your future. You have been predicting it by wishful thinking. Now create it through the power of the word. You have been predicting it just by hoping. Hope is important. It make it not a shame. But let me tell you the truth. If you must walk in any reality in your life, you are going to have to create it. I believe the word of God. I know whom I have believed. I have not followed cunningly devised fables. I believe him. But Jesus Christ brought us here tonight so that we can experience his victory. Hallelujah. And in a few minutes, we have to pray before I begin to minister. Brothers and sisters, I want you to pray and say, Father, visit me. I didn't just come to watch others and clap. Hallelujah. The power of God is present to heal. No matter what the sickness is, no matter what the sickness is, believe. Is it cancer? Is it HIV? Is it fibroid? Is it genotype issue? No matter what it is. You are stranded in whatever area of your life. Please position yourself. Because God is about to do mighty things right now. No matter how far you are inside or outside, talk to the Lord. Don't be joking. This is about your destiny. This is your chance for a change of story. Say, Lord, I'm tired. I'm tired of clapping for others. Lord, visit me. I want to make progress in my life. But there are forces that tie me down. Lord, it's the season where you will increase my greatness. I'm tired of this terminal disease. Tired of this cancer. They've told me I have days to live. I'm tired of walking on a wheelchair. I'm tired of this blindness. Tired of this deafness. Tired of this sickle cell anemia. Jesus, you died and already paid the price. You paid the price already. Oh yes, Jesus paid the price with his blood. He paid the price already. It was paid in full. He paid the price for that cancer to live. He paid the price for that HIV to dry up. He paid the price for that barren womb to be fruitful. He paid the price. He paid the price. Go ahead and pray. And say, Jesus, you have paid the price. Jesus, you have paid the price. For the deliverance of my family. We are tired of this hardship. It's not your will for us to continue in this hardship. And Lord, like Jacob, we hold on to you tonight. We will not let you go till you change our story. Come on, pray, Koinonia. We will not let you go. Those outside, are you praying? Lord, change my story academically. I'm tired of writing jam again and again and again and again and again change my story change my story you already paid the price you already paid the price oh hallelujah he has paid the price hallelujah he paid it with the blood of jesus the blood of jesus is the price the price the devil must let you go the blood has been shed already Jesus said it is finished that cancer is finished HIV is finished the devil may not want to let you go but you will enforce the word the Bible says how forcible are right words how forcible are right words how forcible 
rise up on your feet everybody and begin to blast in tongues and say my time has come my time has come oh god my time has come tonight you will visit me as your blessing man let your eyes see me oh god as your changing stories visit me visit me visit me visit me visit me oh god that epilepsy must die tonight that yoke of financial hardship hallelujah hallelujah i believe hallelujah hallelujah the power of god is in this place i believe lord i believe listen 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 let me tell you something hallelujah the man who laid down at bethesda he'd been like that for 38 years there is a way a situation has been so long in your life even when they are telling you god will change it you say lord change the rest tonight do not leave any stone unturned are you getting my point whatever it is you're trusting god for many of us left different states many of us left different local governments i like you to pray and say lord for this and that and that area of my life it must give way to now yes lord it must give way tonight it must give way the power of god is already moving across this place goodness Oh, she Maria Katanda. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Powers that hold your hands and tie your destiny must let you go. Hallelujah. I see miracle everywhere. Miracle everywhere. I see miracles everywhere. Right now. Right now. Miracles. We see miracles. Lord, we see miracles. Right now. right now. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. Ay, 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 ay. Listen, listen, listen to me. I tell you, there is a strong spirit of faith in this place. Listen, listen, please listen to me first. Many of you will be surprised what will happen to you right now. Hallelujah. God is going to the root of people's issues. It's not just sickness or this. Please believe me. The, the Lord kept telling me this again and again. The root, the root of the issue. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I'm about to pray right now. I'm about to pray inside and outside. There will be such a release of the forcible power you can't stand it no hallelujah father in the name of your son there are forces of darkness that are responsible for the tears of many people and families and lord in the name of jesus as we shout that name 
let there be such a move my god my god lift your hands at the count of three i like you to shout the name jesus as you shout that name devils will leave right now one two three the power of God right now I command forces forces of darkness yokes yokes of darkness yokes bring them out the fire of God is falling I challenge altars Outside, the power of God is falling outside. Activities of witches and wizards right now. Satan, let them go. Satan, let them go. Satan, let Lift your hands. The devil must let you go tonight. Lift your hands. Hallelujah. I see a number of people inside and outside. And I see chains all over you. Chains. As you shout this name. It's already happening to people right now. As I speak. As I shout that name Jesus. When you shout it. Many of you will hear sounds. Of physical chains dropping. Are you ready now? At the count of three. One, two, three. Jesus! I give the chains. Those outside, lift your hands. Those those outside. Those outside, lift your hands. Hallelujah. I see the angels of the Lord moving outside. Lift your hands. Those outside, you're going to shout Jesus. There will be such a move of fire, physical fire outside. Are you ready now? Those outside. One, two, three. Ha ba ba. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Go, 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 go. I cause power. Now, by the spirit of God, I cause equality. I cause power. You are not a Hallelujah. Lift your hands. The spirit of delay. 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 The Lord is talking to me now. Hallelujah. The power of God will fall on certain people. Straight up. God is killing the spirit of delay. And I see this row. The angel of the Lord is standing upon this row. Right now in the name of Jesus. The spirit of delay across this road. Go, 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 go,
Gabriel, 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 please let's save time. The Lord is showing me witchcraft. This is serious witchcraft. Gabriel, outside, that guy is outside. You are wearing something like green, greenish, like flowery something green. Where is that? You, do you know me? Come and stand here. Your, your, your time your time has come please stand up stand up let's save time I give the chains the chains falling she take a papa tapa tapa then create a party can they both shut up go patalaba let her go now you are a devil of darkness release her family now Release our family now. Release our family now. I do the chains. Hallelujah. Look at me. My brother, I need to pray for you. There's nothing working in your life. Is that true? Look at me. Absolutely nothing. People just see you and see you dressing well. There is not financial. Nothing is working. Look at me. You are a sincere person. Are you getting my point? You have cried. You have cried. There's nothing you have not done. But tonight, God wants to change your story. Bring that lady. Because I see her going through the same thing this guy is going through. Bring her. Let her go now and forever. In Jesus' name. Go! brother in the name of jesus christ i prophesy to you look at me things will so change and turn around in your life you will be surprised you believe this father let it be done in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing military uniform who is a soldier who is a soldier around you i'm seeing this I live in the barracks. You live in a barrack because I'm seeing military uniform. Hallelujah. God is going to help you. Huh? You need the help of God. You have gotten to a point where you have done the best by yourself. It will take God to help you. Hallelujah. Victoria. 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 The Lord is showing me a name, Victoria. We may not call everybody Victoria. Victoria. Ah, well, I believe when God speaks to one, he speaks to all. Where's the person I was talking to? He has gone. I've not finished, my brother. Hallelujah. Come. We're going to break the course. This, this is, I'm saying this is, this is a yoke of darkness. Please hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, we break this evil right now. <sighs> Madam, I'm looking at you, but I'm seeing a man. I'm not seeing a woman. I'm looking at you, I'm seeing a man. The power of God is going to come upon a lady now. There will be a loud shout. Let me have that lady here. It's going to happen right now. There is a strong force of the spirit. It will, it will be so strong upon the person. Please, when that happens... Break every chain. Break every 
Look at me. I'm going to pray for you. Please, I want you to believe. Hallelujah. Come, sister. Just those who came out, don't take them back. Just, just leave them. Hold my hands. Out of her. Go. Go in the name of Jesus Christ. Devil of darkness. Father, I pray for all of the people. My brother, I didn't pray for you. That was why. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Change his story in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'll just lay hands on you people. I don't know what the issue is. But as I lay hands, I'm seeing a man. Huh? I want to pray for you. Please. Because this thing has tied your life down. Lord, let her be free. In the name of Jesus. Let her be free. In the name of Jesus. Please, if I pray for you, just go back. Change their story, so God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever reason you brought them out, change their stories. As I lay my hands on you, I want you to know that everything is over. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A drama will be acted in this place shortly now. Look up. Hallelujah. The Lord is asking me to release marriages. This is it. It will start answering from this lady. It will start moving across right now. The power of God will start touching people. I'm about to pray. I've not prayed yet. It will start touching ladies, especially ladies. In a strange way, God is releasing marriages supernaturally. Supernaturally. This way, just like this. Just like this, down. That's how I see the power of God moving. Lift your hands. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Every cause of marital delay. Leave those people now. 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 Every cause, bring them out. Bring them out. Every spirit stopping marriages by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Every spirit stopping marriages. Go protect and protect. I break the I break the I Hallelujah. Listen to me. The Bible says male and female, he created them. Not male and male. Not female and female. Lift your hands. In the name that is above all names. If there is any family here. That their marital destiny has been tied down. As surely as the Lord God of Israel lives. Right now. May the fire of the Holy Ghost move. And cause deliverance right now. Every spirit husband, every spirit wife, every devil, every demon, go, go, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, every act of witchcraft that has tied families, we release you right now. Hallelujah. Goodness. God is setting families free. Oh, the devil must give up on you tonight. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. 
That girl on red, tying red scarf, there is an angel pouring oil on her right now. Right now, I curse that spirit. Go, go, out of her right now. In the name of Jesus. That's right, that's the lady. In the name of Jesus, the power of God is coming upon her right now. Go, go, go. Release her right now. Release her right now. Release her right now. Release her right now. Hallelujah. Listen. I want you to know you mustn't manifest and do all these things. God is just setting people free. Are you getting my point? I like us to just flow with what God is doing right now. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a lady. I'm seeing a lady. You had a dream and a dog pursued you and beat you. Please, who is that person? I, I like us to save time, please. I may not talk to everybody, but we still have a lot of things to do. Please hurry up. Who is that person? Well, if, it's, if you are thinking about it, just remain on your seat, please. This is not guesswork. This is what the Holy Spirit, because we have to pray for the sick. You're going to be free right now. You're going to be free right now. I give the chains, the chains for you. Please hold my hand. It ends right now, oh Lord. It ends. Release her right now. Release her right now. That power of darkness. Let her go. In Jesus' name. Please come, let me pray for you. I break that demonic thing over your life. In the name of Jesus. I break that demonic thing over your life. In the name of Jesus. That demonic thing over your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. We break that demonic thing over your life. In the name of Jesus, look at me. Your family is not even you now. You are a worker in this house. And as a worker, you are entitled to certain blessings. Huh? Your family, there is a cause of hardship upon your family. Your entire family. Hold my hands. You must be free right now. Let her go. Representing her family. In the name of Jesus, I plead the blood. What is this that I see in the spirit? You must let her go because she's a faithful worker in this house. In the name of Jesus, out of her. In the name of Jesus Christ. I release your family. I release your family. I release your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is showing me the vision of a tree and I'm seeing it tied with ropes tied with ropes this is what I'm seeing in the spirit is tied and this is like the destiny of this family and they've done everything to tie it but I release it right now I release it by the spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus and I prophesy on everybody whatever the devil has tied take the destiny of any family that has been tied be released now 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 every destiny that has been tied by witchcraft go be released now hallelujah 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 i tell you the breakthroughs that are happening many of you will leave this place you will be surprised just believe me
there is somebody outside two people in fact the fire of god will rush upon them right now in a mighty and strange way they will never be able to contain it outside when that happens let me have those people if two people in a powerful way is happening right now by the spirit you can't stand it you will just be standing and it will come on you in a wild way like fire like wildfire it will come upon you please let me have the ladies like wildfire it will turn you you will be running it will happen to you you will be running around you will be running around there is power in the name of Jesus there is power in the name of Jesus there is power in the name of Jesus Break every chain, break every chain, to break every chain. Hallelujah. Who is Salome? There is a wild spirit in this lady's family. This lady, you're seeing. Let her go now. This is Benway State. In the name of Jesus, release this family now. Release this family now. Hallelujah. Salome. The meaning of your name in your language is like treasure. Treasure or something precious. Who is that? like treasure or don't tell lies here oh please you are the one what is what's your name no no salome just wait here you are the one salome the the meaning of your name i'm going to pray for you salome where's your mother she's at home where we need to pray. God wants to give your family breakthrough. Out of her now. Out of her. Out. Out right now. Out. Out of her. Out. Bring them. She parata barregete bregete boksha Ni baso paria kabaria doste ke barakata I prato se palia na bako se ke dele bregedia Breteste parata bako se ke dele bai Si panda bako I set your family free right now By the fire of the Holy Ghost Now be free Now be free Now be free Out! Out! Be free in the name of the Lord Jesus. May you become that treasure truly. Let your days of crying come to an end in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please rise up. I want us to pray. I'm seeing a lecturer that is going to die next week. If we don't pray, he's going to die. Hallelujah. I'm not, I'm not a prophet of doom. God just interrupted this. Please stand up. In one minute, I'd like us to pray before we continue. And say we refuse death. I'm seeing a professor dying next week. Lord, we plead the blood. Sheep are 
Hallelujah. We are going to pray for the sick right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Those of you who came with people who are sick, it's time to minister to them right now. Hallelujah. Now, please listen. I know that there are a lot of people and who want to do it very, very fast. I'm sorry we don't take too much time to announce instant miracles now. You know, we are bounded by time. If we we're doing an afternoon program, we can take so many things. Hallelujah. So I want, it's not like we're not celebrating what God is doing. It, it would have been easy now to just ask these people to testify, to encourage us. But we don't have all of that time now. There are so many people. There are people after this meeting now may return to certain places. Hallelujah. Please and please. Please and please, we don't fake miracles in this place. We don't, we believe in the power of God. I know that many people have come trusting God for healing. And I know that some of us have come with our loved ones. Hallelujah. Praise God. Please, I want us to be orderly in this place. No fighting, no nothing. By the grace of God, we are going to minister to everybody one by one. Hallelujah. Praise God. So please and please, I want you to cooperate with us. Hallelujah. The worship team will lead us in a powerful worship song while we allow those who are sick. You came with someone sick or you are sick. Now is your time to walk up to the front. Come and stand and trust Jesus for a miracle. And make sure you are writing your prayer request if you don't have any prayer request. Hallelujah. Please. If it's someone that cannot stand, maybe if there's a way protocol can help the people and then maybe we can have a chair or something whatever it is Jesus Christ those of you standing lift your hands and begin to thank God for the miracles of people please pray please pray his presence is here to him oh hallelujah we give you praise those of you coming out, please begin to pray and say, Lord, my time has come. I know you have all kinds of medical reports. Forget about them right now. HIV cases, cancer cases, whatever it is, genotype, don't worry. Jesus is Lord in this place. Lord, we thank you. Please, let's save time. If you've not written your prayer request, Start right in he, His presence is here. His presence is here to heal. His presence is here. Let your faith rise. Lord, my time has come. I'm not going back the same. From headache to infection. No matter how little. Oh, hallelujah. Jehovah Rapha. There is a God that heals in the house. So heal. One more time. One more time. Jesus heals. Jesus heals. You will be delivered. Shut I don't care what the situation is. is to heal, to heal. To heal, to heal. Oh, I am.
son of man can these bones live again hallelujah i want you to know whatever the situation is there is a god we are not against doctors we have doctors here as workers but let me tell you it gets to a point in your life where you have done your best when you have done your best leave it all to jesus christ thank you jesus christ we are going to pray for you hallelujah listen I want you to believe in the power of the Holy Spirit as I minister to you right now. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The anointing of the Spirit is strong and I see the angels of the Lord here. Many of you, what you call sickness is not sickness, it's witchcraft. Huh? You will be delivered from it and that will be the end of it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. It's, when he's ready, he can come and join me. Jake is deeply in the spirit, so just let him. When he's ready, Jesus, I give you all the praise. Those of us who are there, please don't be carried away. Make sure you participate and let's trust the miracle working power. Especially those of you who God is calling you into a healing ministry. Now is the time to look. Now is the time to concentrate so that you will receive something. We give you all the praise. Make sure you go back and begin to check yourself. God is healing people. Come and see in the presence of Lord. Be healed. Hold on, Be please. Healed. Hold on. Hallelujah. Daddy, don't cry. What's wrong with you, sir? I, I'm suffering from arthritis since 30 years. 30 years. Brothers and sisters, 30 years arthritis. Uh, and it is a sign of stroke. It gives me a sign of stroke. Is your father? Is your father? Come. What did they tell him in the hospital? Sir, he's having arthritis. He's having It's not just arthritis. I'm seeing pile. I'm seeing pile. I'm seeing pile. This is witchcraft. Do you have pile? Yeah. I'm if I want to, if I want to, uh, is yourself? Is it myself? The team will be strong. That's what I'm saying. It's pile. This is pile. It's not just arthritis alone. This is pile. This is this is an evil thing. Is that pile? Yes, sir. Exactly. It's having pile. You are having pile. Yes, sir. You too. You are having pile now. See, this is a cause to destroy everybody in your family. It's not just your father. This thing has been there since. Since. Are you getting my point? You are not the only one. You have suffered with this pile. Even you, it has embarrassed you. It's just something you cannot tell people. Because I'm seeing that if they don't help, you will start bending. It will start like your leg will start paining you. The same thing that is happening to your father will happen to you. You've done for me. What no man can do, Jehovah, 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 you've done, done for me. What no one else do, say me love, Jehovah. There is a name that is greater than any ancestry. You will be the first to be healed. Come, hold my hand. Pile, go now. You are a devil of darkness. I curse you out from her life in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. 
daddy i bring you the life of jesus christ the power of god is coming upon you stroke i cost that spirit i cost that spirit strength to you i cost that spirit look at this in the name of the lord jesus come stand up come by yourself come come just come 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 walk come at this 30 years stroke 30 years stroke 30 years stroke come on now look at look at look at look at what is happening to me 30 years stroke come on give jesus praise 30 years stroke look at look at look at this man come on son hey, hey. look at look at this look at this look at this look at this Look at, look at, look at this. Look at this. Hallelujah. Ah. Come on now. Hold on. Hold on. How many of you saw this man when he was coming? Are you seeing this now? Look at our daddy. Daddy, are you surprised? I'm surprised. What is happening to you, right? There is no pain. Completely. Hey. Look at, look at this. Come on, give Jesus praise, 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 praise. Hallelujah. The Spirit of God is upon me. Even the devil on, knows that I'm a winner. The Spirit of God is upon me. Even the devil knows that I am a winner. Dance to the shame of the devil. The Spirit devil. of God is upon me. Even the devil knows that I am a winner. The Spirit of God is upon me. Even the devil knows that I am a winner. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, there are people who believe that these things are stage managed. Hallelujah. How can you stage manage a miracle with an elderly man like this? Eh? From Niger State. This is his first time coming all the way from Niger State. 30 years arthritis. Hallelujah. I prophesy to your family in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you everything that was stolen in the name that is above all names i prophesy just leave him leave him he's just sitting down he's he's so excited he doesn't know what to do with himself i cannot stand up by myself like that before all right sit down and try it again Sit down and try it again. You know, he couldn't stand up. Help him. Help him sit down. Try to stand up now. Look at this. Help him. Oh, hallelujah. It never returns again in the name of Jesus. Whoever is responsible for any evil, he will reap what he has sown. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. Give Jesus praise. Let's hurry up. Praise when God. Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. When Jesus say, nobody can say no. When Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. Hey! When Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. When Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. Hallelujah. Please, if you are with a little child, can you guide them so that we know what is wrong with them? Let's save time. There are a number of people. Hallelujah.
listen, the devil, the devil is a liar and a wicked person. Madam, look at me. This woman is going through a very serious situation. But let me tell you, it will change. I don't care what has been removed. One has been removed. They removed. Don't cry. It's okay. It's okay. What exactly did the doctor say? They didn't say anything. That you can no longer conceive. Why? Because one has been removed and the other one is not healthy. One has been removed. The other one is not healthy. Ah, son of man, can this bones be beautiful? Hallelujah. I wish this woman was here who had been burying that carried her child. I don't know if she's here. This fair lady, she's not here. I wish she were here. She would have brought the child. And let's see that medical reports can be cancelled. She's not here. Habiba's sister, Sadia's sister, she's not here. That is she around? Come, come, come with the child. Where is she? Come with the child to the shame of the devil. That's a woman they say will never take in. Come with your child. That's a miracle baby there. Come. Please come, madam. Sorry, don't be embarrassed. Clear the way for her. I want to encourage you. Come. This kind God, oh, I never see in kind, oh. This kind God, oh. Hallelujah. Hold on. This, this is a woman that nothing would have been able to happen. Nothing completely. But look at the fine boy. See, look, let me tell you. There is nothing that ends argument like results. You can fake headache. Can you fake a child? Hallelujah. Madam, let me tell you the truth. You will not only carry a child, you will carry plenty of people. Please believe. I, I, I brought her out to show you. When they gave birth to this baby, this baby was looking like an angel. They were snapping the baby, right? Hallelujah. Father, every woman in this place, every family, trusting God for a miracle child, in the name that is above all names you did it for this family do it again do it again oh god do it again oh god hallelujah madam you'll be free right now look at me i don't care whether one room has been removed or whether another one is not working is irrelevant all i know is you will have children and they will grow in wombs where it will come that is not my responsibility are you getting my point now the child is in it. something will leave you now this is this is demonic let this woman go now i command that you get pregnant give birth to miracle children we create new wounds right now in the name of Jesus Christ it is done you will return with your miracle children I will attend to everybody now we will be very very fast so that we can save time worship him please My God is awesome. He can move my Hold on. Let her talk. Yaro na ne aje Israel. Ne aje Israel zin. She she na aki the Nigeria Christian Progress Commission Abuja. So say so ke fi ya leading ya in south south. Say ya e do guda kudu su je su du keshi. So ke chire she the go fourth floor. So yet the shakasa. So kakar ba kudi a wajenshi. Tun di zeba fourteen. Yena pama a Israel. She ne asa na che. Ama ena eke enzu. Hari enzu. Ama enzu. Loko chinde ya fadi. 
an ce ba za yi bangana ba ba za yi rubutu ba ba za yi tafiya ba ga su ya ce to a ci gaba da tutin din shi yayi addu'a Allah ya ga mishi za yi tafiya za yi magana za yi rubutu suna yeso yanzu yana rubutu yana magana amma ka fadi ne bai fara tafiya ba father in the name of your son jesus christ all the way from nigeria by the power of the holy ghost kabala toza tabaranda kalibata zide lembrash ko prande kalabati la kapraste prati satabala mande ke preske la tosko barida laba in the name of jesus what's his name bege pocheche Bege, we call you now. Those, I don't care whether they are broken, whatever is wrong with it. Receive life now. Receive life now. We command you to stand up from that dead bed. Stand up from that dead bed now. Your hands will write, your eyes will see, your feet will walk every broken bone we mend it now thank you jesus mama you will return with a testimony in the name of the lord jesus christ and i pray for you now get you on buyer hold on buying can make his affair sometimes go your back come on get the kafa harian as well at the kafa they call it singing kashabi in ausa that's what rheumatism i'm going to pray for you we'll pray we'll soon get interpreters Hausa, baju anyone everyone what's that your song yeah 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 yes yeah, yeah that's what that's baggy ah hold on come on sam but can you when you walk in kadunaba Hold on now. Yen kaduna ba kuya wa kan garin ku ba. Sena sa ba 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 ti ba kwa. Ah ba ti ba kwa. Sena sa ba 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 ti ba wa. Oh ye ba ti ba wa. Sena sa ba 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 ti ba wa. You don't know what they are saying. Just be just there. Hallelujah. Mommy, be healed of rheumatism now. In the name of Jesus, I cause that pain right now in your legs. Be healed. Stand up. Come. 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 In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, strength to your leg. I cause it. Pain go. Walk, man. Walk. 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 Look at this. Walk. Look at this. Any any improvement on your leg? Look at. Look at. Rheumatism couldn't walk well on one leg. In the name of Jesus Christ, it becomes permanent, completely permanent. In Jesus name and your son is healed and he will return in Jesus name I pray. Amen. God bless you. We have to hurry up. Sam sing something else please. My God is awesome. He can move mountains. Keep me in the valley. Hide me from the rain. My God is awesome. Heals me when I'm broke. Strength where I've been weakened. Ready to be healed now. My God.
Collecting the prayer request very quickly. Start collecting the prayer request very quickly.
over and check yourself. Heal now. In the name of Jesus Christ.
praise the Lord. The Lord is healing and perfecting this man. Hallelujah. He came here with all kinds of pain. But in the name of Jesus, the pain is gone. Daddy, I want you to take a step of faith to walk. Leave him. Just support him, but leave him. Make sure, you, don't worry, you won't fall, Daddy. They are standing at your back. Try to turn and walk. Look at this. I could not use this knee before because of arthritis for six weeks. Very painful. But look at I've been able to move it. The pain my is gone. <laughs> the pain is gone. The pain is gone. Don't worry, Daddy. Don't look at the pain. Just look at me. Just look at me. Walk. Follow me. Forget about the leg. Just look at me. Just look at me. Don't take your eyes away from me. I curse evil in the name of Jesus Christ. Try to lift the leg. Try to lift it now. Don't worry. You won't fall. Lift it. Lift it. Look at. Lift it. Lift it, Daddy. Lift it. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Try walking, sir. Father, you have begun this. It, it is perfected. Me, I curse the spirit that sponsors evil. Because this is witchcraft. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And by the mercy of the Son of the living God. I command this spell from the crown of your head, Daddy. To the sole of your feet be healed. I command the knee, the ankles in the name of Jesus Christ be made whole in Jesus name you will not fall they are supporting you please don't be afraid just follow me come don't be afraid don't be afraid just look at me look at me look at me sir look at me now come come just come just come 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 Look at this. Come on now. Koinonia, celebrate Jesus. He's walking by himself. Don't worry. You will not fall. They are supporting you. Just come. Just come. Leave them that you walk by yourself. Come. Come. Thank you, Jesus. Come. Come on, Koinonia. He's walking by himself. Exercising the leg.
chain is breaking, breaking. breaking. whatever it is, wherever it is, it's breaking, yeah. it's breaking, it's breaking, it's breaking, and it's falling, it's falling, it's bowing, bowing. Hallelujah. I know we're out of time. Please turn the prayer request. If you've not written your prayer request, those online, they should connect with us. We want to pray right now. Hallelujah. God is setting people free. Please don't miss the prophecy after this because it's very, very important. Hallelujah. God is going to be... If you've not submitted your prayer request, please do that. Just wave your hands and the ushers will come to you quickly. Please, one minute, one minute. One minute. Let's do this quickly. All those connecting with us, um, through the internet, they can just connect by faith. Hallelujah. Pastor Jakes will lead us to this session. Praise the Lord. If you can rise, please rise. This is a very prophetic moment. Look at me. Hold on. We're not just doing this foolishly. This is an instruction God gave us. Hallelujah. We've had unspeakable testimonies. I believe almost everybody, this is summary of your prayer request. We may not have time to deal with it. This, please, don't make it ritualistic. Hallelujah. The Bible says Hezekiah took the threat letter and took it to the temple and he dropped it before God. Stretch your hands and begin to pray. As Pastor Jakes leads us through this. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want, I want you to pray. We're going to be laying our hands on this request right now. And I'm telling you, God is going to be releasing miracles. You're standing, I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, this is it. Everything I've written here lives my life. Everything that needs to come into my life, please pray. Participate in the meeting. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Go ahead, pray in tongues. Rata by Lord, your grace 
I see the angels of God come like flash of light real fast bringing answers to prayers for some of us we will receive calls even tonight answers 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 to prayers ah just like Ezekiah opened us his prayers before the Lord and right before the prophet left the temple answers came the answers come tonight in the name of Jesus the answers come tonight in the name of Jesus the Lord brings healing aha thank you blessed Lord Bacos y perioto, shimile gambron, siki parodo, sile branda, carabadose. There's a particular case of consistent pain on your ankle, the right ankle. That person wrote it as a prayer request. The Lord is healing that in the name of Jesus. Father, we lay these prayer points before you. The God of all flesh, the God of all spirits, Abba Father, God, you are greater than our challenges. You are bigger than every problem we have. We ask you, blessed Father, let the seal of your spirit be upon these prayers in the name of Jesus. Let the seal of Jesus, the power of his blood, speak in the name of Jesus. We cause doors to open in the blessed name of Jesus. We command breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. Let answers come speedily by your spirit in the name of Jesus. For every heart cry, every pain, the Lord wipes away tears in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise for every prayer point here, Lord, is sealed in the name of Jesus. It is answered in the name of Jesus. We give you the praise, we give you the glory, for we pray in the blessed name of Jesus. And we decree, we declare that we are blessed and our answers have come. In the blessed name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please rise up on your feet. This is, this is a very serious moment right now. A few minutes and we'll be out of here. But this is very prophetic. For me, I consider this to be the greatest part of the meeting. Where we get to use the power of prophecy to change people's situation. Because of our time, please, there are people here. You've not given your life to Jesus. You've seen the works of the kingdom. And tonight, you're saying, Jesus... I want to make it right with you wherever you are please as i pray i want you to march forward you'll be the first i'm going to pray for there are people here right now others you've given your life to christ but you've not found yourself living the way of the kingdom and you're saying lord enough is enough enough is enough don't be ashamed don't wait for everybody everyone has joined the kingdom you are the only one left i'd like you to find your way courageously to the front right now celebrate them god bless you as you come people are coming God bless you. Don't be afraid. God bless you. I know there are many people outside. There are many people inside. Don't wait for anyone. This is a decision. This is your salvation. This is very important. Forget about your friend. Forget about who you came with. Quickly, quickly, please save time. We'll just count one, two, three. One. Those outside, double up. Don't be ashamed. You don't feel ashamed when a gift is being given unto you. Please find your way around to Jesus Christ. Don't be ashamed. This is a decision to begin to walk with God. Don't be emotional about it. This is a sincere decision. It can decide your eternity after now. Don't sit back. There are people still sitting back. The Holy Ghost is telling you to get up and come. The Bible says if you hear his voice in that day, harden not your heart. God bless you. God bless you. There are more people coming from outside. Please celebrate them very quickly. Find your way to the front. hallelujah thank you so much for coming this is the greatest decision in this place lift your hands those of you those joining them please join them quickly young and old everyone join them it's never too late for you to join them god bless you our sister thank you thank you so much thank you so much we don't have all the time but please make your way very quickly if you have to come it's never too late lift your hands those of you hallelujah
People are used to making very emotional decisions when they respond to the altar call. But please, we mean business. This is very, very serious. God bless you, our sister. Just join us very quickly. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I love you with all my heart. I believe you died for me. I believe you shed your blood for me. Tonight, I make you my Lord and Savior. I repent of my sins. I receive eternal life into my spirit. From today, I declare that I begin to make progress in my life. I submit to the authority of Jesus. I denounce sin and Satan. From today, I move forward ever and backward never. In the name of Jesus. Keep the hands lifted up. Father, thank you. These hands are lifted unto you. They will never be put down. In the name of Jesus. Let their salvation experience be genuine. And let it last. Thank you for this decision they are making today. The powers of darkness that take them back into sin. And the way of death. We command that they are set free from it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Do wonders in their lives. Make mighty men and women out of them. In the name of Jesus Christ. We celebrate you. We love you. We honor you. Thank you for making this great decision. Now, I'd like you to follow the ushers, the people with blue and black. Hallelujah. Follow the gentleman. This side, just follow them. They'll have your details, and then we'll communicate to you. Celebrate them, Koinonia. Thank you so much. Everybody lift your hands. Please rise. Rise as we pray. Praise the Lord. By the way, let me celebrate Pastor Pete Rock's wife. This has been hiding. Hallelujah. If you want them to celebrate your husband tomorrow, clap. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please, I'd like you to shout amen as we pray. He said, Son of man, can these bones live again? He said, Only thou knowest. And he said, Prophesy. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This is the part where everybody gets to participate because the word is living like rain and it can alter your destiny. Hallelujah. Lord, we give you praise. Right now in the name that is above all names, I pray. Every door that has been closed over anyone's life. Kapoto paretata. Meke la bondele karatabaya. Every door that is closed over anyone's life be open now be open now be open now I command breakthrough right now in the name of Jesus every closed door over your destiny be open now every terminal disease in your body I command that it comes to an end now. It comes to an end now. It comes to an end now. Hallelujah. The Bible says, And Esther found favor before the king. And the king said, What shall I do to you? Even up to half of my kingdom. I pray in the name that is above all names. May an anointing for favor a real anointing with proofs may it come upon your life now receive favor now favor with god favor with man hallelujah the bible says and the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon and the king whoever needs to send for you whichever destiny helper needs to connect you with the next level of your life I call them into your life now I call them into your life now in the name of the son of the living God destiny helpers share the word of the Lord I command divine connections in the name of Jesus Christ He said, and thou shalt increase my greatness and comfort me round about. 
let me tell you the truth the lord has not called you to a life of weakness and mediocrity therefore i prophesy that anointing for breaking limits i prophesy it upon your life move to the next level academically move to the next level in the name of jesus christ listen listen there's no such thing as joblessness huh the bible says the vine dress are passed and saw them idle he said why sittest thou idle he said no man employ us and he told them go to the vine there is always work when god speaks he saw them idle. he said why sittest without there are many people here trusting god for jobs right now in the name that is above all names between now and next miracle service receive your miracle job i prophesy it i release it for you and for your family members receive it now receive it now receive it now there are people who are overdue for promotion in their workplace the bible says listen the bible says promotion comes neither from the east nor the west nor the south god can take a man from a dunghill and place him above even if you are not working you can stand for your loved ones i pray as surely as the god of heaven lives whoever is due for promotion and has been hindered we release it now we release it now we release it now we release it now hallelujah and elijah told his servant he said check and he came back he said there is nothing he said go and check again and he said i saw a cloud like the feast of a man i pray in the name that is above all names let there be the sound of abundance i provoke abundance right now i provoke abundance in the name of jesus the bible says the hand of zerubbabel that started this work that same hand shall complete it whatever you and your family members have started i don't care what the project is whatever resource is required receive the finishers anointing receive the finishers anointing in the name of the lord jesus christ everyone trusting god for a godly relationship and marriage my bible tells me male and female he created them he didn't say male and male he says seek out of the book and read none of these words shall fail none shall want a mate i declare right now that any spell of darkness that has tied you maritally as surely as the god of heaven lives right now i release you i command your exodus now I command your exodus right now for those trusting God for resources you want to marry but you are tied down financially and the Lord told Elijah go to the brook chariot there a raven will come and feed you we provoke the mystery of divine supply he said you shall not see the wind you shall not see rain but the valley shall be filled with water I command supply right now by the favor of the Lord God of Israel. Let there be supplies. Hallelujah. I pray for you. The Bible says you will be blessed in the city and you will be blessed even in the country. He said whatsoever you lay your hands to do is blessed. Lift up those hands in the name of Jesus from today whatever you do with these hands may they be blessed may they produce remarkable results 
Hallelujah. And he said, destroy it not, for there is a blessing in it. When Balak told Balaam to curse Israel, he said, I have been commanded to bless. This I have done and it cannot be reversed. I declare, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, may your hands be blessed. Scripture said they are taken for a prey and none said restore. There must be a voice to cry restoration in the name that is above all names. I command restoration of all the years the canker worm has eaten and the palmer worm. Let there be restoration now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says a thousand shall fall by your side and ten thousand by your right side. None shall harm you. Only with you, your eyes will you watch and behold the reward of the wicked. You see bomb blasts everywhere. There's nowhere that looks safe again. The only place of safety is the name of the Lord. For the Bible says it is a tower, a strong tower. I declare anyone marked for death here or any family marked for death either by witchcraft bomb blast assassins or any kind of political wickedness the blood of jesus separates you from the spirit of death you shall not die you shall not die not by accident not by bomb blast not by terrorism in the name of jesus the Bible says, as for me and my house, I've prayed for you, now I pray for your house. In the name that is above all names, whatever has mocked the God of Israel in your house, we change that report right now. Whatever has mocked the God of Israel, Sarah said, those who laugh at me have now laughed with me. I declare, we change the story of your family. And his mother named him Jabez because she said I bore him in sorrow and Jabez prayed and said oh that thou wouldest bless me any name that has been given to you because of your past and is following you today we change that name right now thank you Jesus I pray for you right now lift your hands let the empowerment of the Holy Ghost please lift your hands just I just have one minute there will be impartations right now the anointing of the Spirit all kinds of gifts of the Spirit take it now take it now take it now take it now take it receive it prophetic anointings apostolic anointings healing anointing take it take it take it everywhere inside and outside entrepreneurship anointings receive it business ideas receive. hello beloved in christ we hope this message was a blessing to you i would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them We would need you to do one thing for us to tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and then if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching in the name of jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise i decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall.